Okay, um, well this is the uh, TP-Link MC220L um, and I've just taken it apart to see what's inside because I know you guys will be interested so as you can see it's just a fairly standard um, steel case two parts with some cutouts in it a little insulating uh, pad there and here's the circuit board and this really is a very very simple device so got the power inlet here, small switch mode power supply and a bridge rectifier made from discrete diodes. Um, and there's a power transistor and the, uh, lid, the uh, switching regulator chip. Um, as we come over here you can just see a few discrete components. This here is the Marvel um, 88E1111 uh, gigabit ethernet transceiver chip and that is really the heart of it. It takes a standard uh, gigabit signal and converts it into serial. And you can actually see these two serial traces here running down towards the uh, optical transceiver housing here. So chip, transformers to standard network cable and a direct serial connection to the transceiver module. Um, if I pick up a transceiver module, you can actually see the uh, connecting on the bottom. So several pins there, four for serial data, a number of diagnostic power and uh, low speed communication and uh, control signals there. And at the front you've got I've got a pair of fibres plugged in. So that's really all there is to it. Um, simple, cheap device. OK, I've just plugged it in just to demonstrate it working, not that we expect to see anything, um, but you can see how the uh, SFP transceiver fits into its little housing, and there's the uh, another view of the uh, bridge rectifier there, four discrete diodes connecting directly to the power input, and uh, if I put my finger on that, <laughs> I get my finger burnt because it is scorching, scorching, and there's the transformers, MNC, uh, G2436CG uh, Ethernet transformers.